Hi there, my name is Stephanie. I'm 26 years old and I'm a ranger with the city of Bunbury. I've been a ranger for about 18 months now. This is Jess, she's a 10 year old border collie and uh, she's my personal dog. Registering your cat or dog in your local council jurisdiction is so important. It's almost like an insurance to make sure that, you know, if your dog or cat ever does escape, um, that it can be reunited with you. It is a requirement under state legislation that all dogs and cats are registered to the state of WA. Our biggest aim is to always reduce the amount of animals that do go into our shelter. When possible, through registration, we're able to bring them straight back to you. It's a common misconception that when you have your animal microchip that it's also the same as a registration. When you do take your pet to a vet and have a microchip implanted into your animal, it actually is more of a national database for ownership. Whereas registration is a local database and rangers actually have power to edit and alter registrations to help reunite your animal better. Um, but both are a requirement for both cats and dogs under state legislation. So when it comes to keeping animals at your house, you can keep two dogs, upwards of six with a permit, as well as two cats, upwards of six with a permit. If you want to keep more than two dogs or two cats on your property, just contact the ranger team and we'll help you through that application process to be able to keep more than permitted. Music